Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a video with you today and it's a design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts, the Wild Bunch. Okay, so I decided to make a project, one that I haven't done in a while. Um, I love bird cages and bird houses and so I had a tiny bird cage and I really wanted to alter it so I'm going to share that with you right now and as usual I will pop all the links to the store and uh, YouTube and everything down below in the description box and um, also the product codes of everything that I've used okay so this is my bird cage and stand um, so I'm going to start with the stand I've done it so that it's still separate. The stand is actually made from a cotton reel, like this one. It's exactly the same. I picked these up just at a craft fair. So the first thing I did was I painted the whole thing cream uh, all over, including the base. And then just at the top I just added a, a cotton doily. There, and I just trimmed it to, to size to fit. I've just used a tiny crochet lace so as a as that hangs down, and then a tiny little um, sort of daisy trim across the top. Um, I also added a tiny trim from my stash um, to the bottom of the reel. It's really tiny. Okay, so I wanted it to look like the flowers were growing up the base of the bird cage. So I wanted to use all the beautiful uh, tiny open roses um, that Wild Orchid Crafts sell and also the Gypsophilia. Um, so there's a variety of different uh, open roses on here. So, but I'll start with the Gypsophilia. So the Gypsophilia is a 25 mixed two-tone Gypsophilia flowers on a stem and the product code is MKX654. Um, they also do these in white as well. Um, but I used the pinks and the lilacs out of here and then just twisted them so that they look like they're growing up the um, base and I've used two size, different sizes of open roses I've used some 10mm ones and then some 15mm ones uh, the 15mm I used um, from the mixed purple and lilac tone open roses and the product code is MKX662 and these are stunning colours. So I used uh, this colour and then the darker purple here. So these two colours here. That comes with four different colours in here. So I used those. And I also used um, the 10mm purple and lilac tone open roses. And the product code's the same, so it's MKX662. So that's the purple tones. And then I also used um, the mixed pink tones in the open roses in the 10mm. And the product code is MKX661. And again, there's four tones of pink in here. And I've used most of the two pinks that, I've, that I used on this project. I've used most of them. Um, and in between uh, the Gypsophilia I've also used some tiny, tiny rosebuds. You can just see them here. And then some more here. And these are so tiny, they are gorgeous. They're 4mm 
and these are the pastel tone rosebuds and the product code is MKX622 now these are really gorgeous look at these how tiny they are really really tiny but so beautiful the colours are just stunning I absolutely love these back in. Okay, so that's the base. So I'll give you another look at that. And I love these open roses. They're so beautiful. I love the colours and the tones. Really, really stunning. So you can see all the, the pinks and lilacs and purples. Really beautiful. So that's the base. Then I took one of these uh, tiny metal, these uh, bird cage, these are actually for a tiny tea light. And on the inside I placed a doily on the inside of the cage. I didn't glue it down, I just pushed it in. Um, and then I used the same daisy trim on the base of the cage and then on the center. And I have a tiny birdie in here that's lilac, can you see? And she has a nest with eggs and actually Nancy made me this little um, nest, Nancy Martinez. Hi Nancy. So I thought that was really cute and the bird just ties in beautifully with the colour scheme. And then on the top Again, I've used the tiny rosebuds and uh, the 10 mil um, open roses in the pinks and lilacs. And I twisted them round the bars of the birdcage. I twisted the open roses, so I left some wire on the open roses and twisted them round the bars. And then added my, my open roses on top of that, so they had something to grip to. And I've done that on every bar at the top and just alternated uh, the colours and I think that looks really cute and then I just tied um, a seam binding bow onto the little hook of the birdcage and the seam binding is from Wild Orchid Crafts and it's the cyan pink and the product code is MKX 485. Well, I'm so thrilled how that turned out. The roses and the colours just are so pretty, really cute. And having the tiny flowers is perfect for smaller projects like this. So don't don't forget to um, stock up. Oh. Sorry, it's my computer. Uh, don't forget to stock up on your tiny flowers as well. So I'm so thrilled how that turned out. And then that just sits on top of the stand like that. So that, you know, I did think about gluing it on and then I thought, no, it's quite cute having it so that it can come off. So you can use it as two separate pieces or one piece. I absolutely love how that turned out and of course the, the lid of the um, bed cage does actually there's the catch it's this side it does actually open so you can take the little nest out and change it to a tea light a little you know one of the battery tea lights not a real one <laughs> um, so and of course the open roses come in so many colours, not just in purple and pink, they do all, all different um, colours. So um, you can choose whatever colour theme you want to do, but I absolutely love these tiny, tiny roses and rosebuds. So I'm really thrilled. So I really hope you like this, and like I say, I will pop all the um, links down below and all the product codes. 
So please, please go check out Wild Orchid Crafts. You will absolutely love um, their store. Okay, and hopefully I'll be back with another project very soon. Bye for now.